But folks, it's about that time. The absolute goat kid wants me to talk about the best show I've seen so far this year. For me, that is hands down solo level. One thing I love about this show is that it's such a fresh take on the underdog story. You see Jin Woo start from the absolute bottom. While he's given a second chance by the system to make himself busted, it doesn't automatically make him broken. The system put him through the ringer and told him, you want power, you're gonna have to earn it. He had to watch this man gradually get it out the mud and grow as a person. The show paces out his development so well, you can't help but to root for him. So it hits more when you see him start to unlock his true potential. It puts you in the moment when he's getting these victories because you've seen where he's come from. Pace his growth over 12 episodes and that's even more impressive. Each episode has these moments where each one of them are just better than the last. This show perfectly adapts and lives up to the hype that the webtoon gave up. These fights are some of the best I've seen this year because you ain't gonna see a better fight than Egress versus Sun Jin Woo. This was great. Jin Woo's progression and journey has just been so motivational. Definitely top five favorite character. I would definitely say don't sleep on solo leveling.